Okay, these are the things you need. You need water, an empty clear container, a nice yummy apple, a strainer. This isn't necessary, but it helps me. It gets all the fruit off of it, off the seeds. And I use tweezers. Now I'm going to pause it while I cut up my apple. Okay, as you can see, the apple's all cut up and yummy, and now I get to eat. And I forgot to tell you, you need toilet paper too, or paper towels, or whatever, some kind of tissue. And my seeds are all in my strainer now, and I've ran them under the water to, you know, rinse them off, and then I just kind of set them on a towel and let them dry like that. Now, okay, as you can see, I've labeled my container. I put the date because I do more than one all the time, and I like to know which ones are which. I, this is all rinsed out and everything. You take your lid and you take one little sheet of toilet paper and you kind of fold it to where it's going to fit in the middle of that lid. And you put it in there and then you put a little bit of water just to get it wet. And you can just kind of Mush it around to where it just gets in, you know, in the center there. And then you take your seeds that you've cleaned and you put them around. I like to kind of keep them separate so that when they start to grow, they, I can pull them out easier without messing up the other ones. Now you can just kind of dump them in there if you want to, but choose to do it this way. Okay, once you get all the little seeds in there, you can see they're just all in there. I kind of separate them, try to keep them separate so that when they start to grow, I'm not bothering the other one when it starts. All right, and then the top one, this is how I do it. Everybody does it different. I just kind of fold it this way just so I can get, see from the center out, that much. And I open this up and we're going to cover our babies up with a little blankie and get it open there. Okay, then you just set it on top and you give them some water. It doesn't take much. And then you kind of make sure those edges come in because when you put that the jar back on it, you don't want it to come right here because it's going to twist and it'll cause them to turn. So you just want to make sure all that's away from the edge. Move my little seed over. All right. Okay. Then you take this. And you screw it on to the top. And it's labeled. And you can see them down in there. And then you set it in a window seal close to where it can get some sun. And you wait. And then eventually you'll see little sprouts sprouting up. Okay. This is another one that I did. And I just wanted to show y'all. You see there? See the little white speck on the ends? There's another one. I pulled this back. 
so y'all could see. That is them starting. Let's cover back. Yeah. And we're going to put them back out there. Look, there's another one starting there, too. Okay, I'll keep y'all posted. Okay, guys. Here we go. Let me open this up so y'all can see it. Y'all see the little root in here? Be real careful. See? See that little root? Be real careful. See? Now, I could go plant him in a planter now. There's actually, looks like two or three in here. So give me just a minute and I'll get things together and show y'all what's next. Lay him back in the bed for a little while. Okay, everybody, we're back. We're ready to put this little guy down in the center here. I'm just going to kind of make a little circle there. You don't want to go too deep, but you don't want to go too shallow. And you just kind of place him down. Oh, a little too deep. Kind of. There we go. And that little root is going to go down there. I'm going to cover him on it. There we go. Once we do that, we're going to give him lots and lots of water. And that way he'll settle in real good. There we go. Let that soak down for a bit and then we're going to water him again. Make sure he gets plenty of water to start with. Because all that dirt was just dry, completely dry. And this will get him settled in and blanketed and all of that. See him sticking up there? Kind of watch for that. Yeah, I'll a little bit. This sort of one. Okay, once you do that, put him in the sun and just wait. Water him every day, same amount. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show y'all. This is dragon fruit that I had in a little baby container. See the little seeds and making little baby plants. I'll be transplanting these. This also is in a baby jar. You can use that too. It's also dragon fruit. I don't know if you can see down in the middle there. Let me open it up. I always do them upside down because they're easier to deal with when they're in the cap. Let's see both oh, baby. I've already planted about, probably about 10 or 15 of these that have already grown. Just when they grew, and you just, let me see, real gentle, and then you pick it up. I always try to bring some of that. I put some of this down around the bottom of it. Yeah, you know, I put that in the dirt and then kind of leave that on there. I didn't do that on my apple one. I wish I would have. It's bothering me that I didn't. But it's already done, so I'm not going to bother it. Okay. Okay, I'm outside now. I just wanted to show you all my little babies. This is a little apple tree that I grew from seed. And this is another apple tree that I grew from seed. 
And this is another one. I'm so happy with my babies. These are fig trees. And this is a plum tree. And these are the little dragon fruits that are now planted. That's a Japanese plum. Okay. I hope y'all enjoy growing. It's such a rewarding thing. Oh, I just wanted to show y'all. I don't know if you can see him. But right there. Where's my finger? That's him about to pop up. That's the seed on this side. And then this root kind of came up and going across. But that's the baby about to come up. I planted that one yesterday. I'm excited. Yay. All right. I hope y'all enjoy.